My name is Roger Heston and I'm the uh, managing partner of Ruby Heels Wine Shop. I actually have worked at Winery on the Green. I've worked there for about the last 20 months or so. And I always liked wine, uh, started working there and I really had a passion for what I was doing, talking to people and interacting with people and, and so I started making wine at home. When I'd give it away, they're like, oh, this wine is so great. You know, if you sold this, I'd make it. So I kind of turned the light on the back of my head and said, well, you know, if people are going to buy this, maybe I should start making it so I can sell it. So all the wine, uh, wine that we'll sell in here, we'll, we'll actually make here on site. Um, I actually get the grapes. I have a, a broker who gets grapes from around the world, and I have another one who gets grapes specifically from California. They'll actually make it into a juice, then I'm going to buy the juice and make the wine here. So I actually looked around for about a year looking for a good location. I looked in Bernie, and I looked in San Antonio, and I looked in Blanco, and quite a few areas. And I found this place in San Marcos, and I thought this would be ideal because it's right off the square, you know, near the university. Um, I live in San, uh, New Braunfels, and they got plenty of wineries down that area. So I wanted to get some place close to where I live, but some place where they didn't really have any wineries. And when I when I drove through downtown here, I said, you know, this is the ideal place. And I found this right off the square and right off of Hopkins. I thought this would be just the great place to put it. So I actually had no name initially. My wife walked into Kirkland one day and saw a picture that had a red high heel on it, and it said. Uh, once you can change your life, Cinderella, quote from Cinderella. And so she said, she saw that and said, this has got to be our label. And I thought Ruby sounded more exotic than Red Heel. So we've kind of evolved from there to Ruby Heel Wine Shop. So, well, we're actually going to be starting out with two whites, uh, a Chardonnay and a Sauvignon Blanc. I have four red wines on the menu to start with, a Brunello, a Barolo, a Cabernet Sauvignon, and a Pinot Noir. And that way we can go from the really dry and heavily oaky one to a fairly mild and not quite as dry uh, red wines. And then uh, the fruit infused wines. I'm uh, starting the menu with uh, a blackberry, peach, banana pineapple, pomegranate, cranberry, and orange passion fruit. And the menu will span from there. To, to run it, you really gotta like people because that's my big thing is I want people to come in and taste the wine. I have a passion for what I do. I, I like things to be to be good. And I, you know, it, it makes me feel good when people come and say, oh, I, I, you know, I'm not a wine drinker. And I say, well, here, try this. And I give them something, they're like, wow, I, I just never drank wine before. And that doesn't taste like wine. Um, I just want them to come, you know, people come by the winery and have fun. Um, I want them to come in here and enjoy themselves. I'm not trying to run a bar, so you'll, you'll notice when we do open, there's only gonna be about like nine tables, eight seats. And most of the tables are places where people stand and taste the wine. But I don't, I, I don't really want to run a bar, especially in a college town. So, but I want people to come in here and try some wines because we'll probably find one that they like. We're shooting for 29 October, but we're waiting for the certificate of occupancy to get signed. And then I still gotta get my health permit, which shouldn't take too long. So we're, we're hoping for last week, October 1st of November, somewhere between the 29th and the 1st is what we're shooting for to open. So.